<laughs> and then the sword gets soft. <laughs> Not uh, not but, looking good. <laughs> all right, yeah. We're going to be getting into game one on PS2, the classic. Noku with a new tag now, the Ukon tag. I have no idea what that's for. Um, but, it's um, for Ukon. It's uh, uh, Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Why Alaska? It's, not, it's, it's a Yukon. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what am I doing here? Anyway. <laughs> Ooh, Ryan is dueled him. He puts the Ryan mess, uh, messing around with the, the overlay a little bit. You know what? It's okay. The, squad, the Pokemon out here fighting on PS2. Noka's Jig run on the stage, you know it. Yeah, no, this is it's a Pokemon battle. Not only that, a water Pokemon battle. Uh, but these moves do not look not very effective uh -huh. at all. Oh, but uh, here it comes. Now we go. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Type Super effect, and then the type advantage is gone. Oh, or is it? Let's not forget this game. Uh, they, they removed that like 10 years ago. So when Charizard is going to kill, he is going to kill. Absolutely so. Yep. Yeah. It's hard to it's a great powerhouse. Might be some fighting type moves he'd be using there. <laughs> that's a tail sweep, not nah, a low sweep. Okay, back into the neutral. Jagron putting on a little bit of pressure. You see the board is coming out, chipping away at Noku's shield. Just, just the Jagron style. The controlled aggression is something we, we always see this from Jagron. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's so good. Yeah, like recognizing what Noku's options on the ledge are going to be and just spacing around them beautifully. Let's see if he can do it again. I like that though. Noku, he he recognized that Jake had been giving him the space so that he could react. So then just neutral get up. You can't react at that range. No, you can't. I mean, it is Greninja. He could probably put punish with dash attack, but it has to be more like a read than a reaction. Yeah, exactly. Like especially if he's probably looking out for all sorts of jump from ledge, roll from ledge. Uh, Regardless, though, Noku at 131%. And finally finding that forward air. That's going to be Jay Grunt taking that first stock. Really good that he picked it up right there because Greninja as a character, he has these amazing kill setups, but sometimes in the neutral, he just can't find stocks if the opponent is playing yeah. around it really well. It's like the ninja needs to hit a kill, most of his kill confirms before, like, 110, I want to say. I pr I'm probably wrong about that because a lot of his, like, stuff in neutral is really just, like, a lot of back air placing, a lot of forward air placing. Dash attack, but like more at early percents. See like right here, dash attack, and he led into all that damage <laughs> from just dash attack and neutral low percent. All right, good down smash though. Covers so many options, even if you manage to tech that hit. Now, yeah. and look at that, at 77% done onto Noku. Down tilt, up smash, I don't think it'll kill just quite yet, uh, but definitely there are things that Noku has to be scared of in this position. And Jay Grunt, though, at 142, managing to avoid those finishers. Oh, <laughs> Noku is throwing them out, and trying to see, find them. He said, you better dodge this. But you can't dodge that one. We're going yeah. right through the stage. That hitbox is very large. Whoa. And so is the power on that up smash. You just died. <laughs> Noku had been teching all of those falling up there. He had teched like eight of them in a row. And then he misses the worst one he possibly could have. Right. Dead Jay at 80%. Oh, yeah, and okay. Dare had a shield. I mean, the move's not that slow, it's and it's long-lasting is the other thing. Also, you notice that since Greninja is so low to the ground, it's going to be pretty – he's less likely to, you know, have his move pancaked because I do feel like there are a lot of, like, for instance, forward air. I feel like there are possibly um, some of the landing animations that Greninja has that fo uh, Squirrel forward air will just miss. Oh, absolutely. Especially if Greninja is crouching on the floor, rising forward air is not hitting it. You would have to land if this is – more, most cases not safe, easy to parry. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, that switch Ooh, came in so bitch. clutch. No. Oh my what God! Crap. <laughs> Never forget, folks. Greninja's uh, pivot grab is gigantic. It is probably the size of Ivysaur or bigger. Yeah, and look at okay, look at the way he's running around shielding. He's looking for one of those setups, either down tilt into up smash, maybe a dash attack of some kind. Another forward into the face, and that will do it. Noku jumps into ledge and dies. I think that was when he said suboptimal DI right there. I believe in that too. Yeah, because I, oh man, I'm spoiled. I thought we were gonna get a replay because we're <laughs> commentating Castle 3000. Uh, shout out to Castle 3000, by the way. Uh, shout but, out um, for that. Right there, I think he was either holding neutral or holding backwards, actually. Um, but Definitely was not ready to be out of that forward air at all. Yeah, but a fantastic oh, comeback from Jake One. He'd been playing from behind so much of that game. And then after he got that drag down into the forward smash, from that point on, like, Jake One is just one of those players where if he manages to spook his opponent, you know, 
you hear the term momentum based, but I feel like it's a two-way street where it's not just that he gains momentum, it's that his opponent begins to fear him. And once that happens, his, as you said before, it's a calculated pressure just starts paying off in profound ways. Absolutely does. The reward he gets from it, he can eat off that reward, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Pays the bills. Good job from Nozick. Actually getting the tech that time around. That probably would have killed him if he had missed it. You know, it's like, I feel like every time J... Why was, what was that? Uh, he missed his dash, I think. I think he wanted to dash up smash. Definitely Ooh. Ooh, are we going to do it again? No, we're not. Ooh. I'm surprised. I believe that falling neutral air like that is actually unsafe on the head. Uh, I think j maybe it could have at least gotten a jab out of it. But I think probably wanted to just play it a little safe. So good reason why Noku went for the jump three two. Maybe thought like you know spot dodge or try like jump away. Ooh. Nice conversion. That nair fair. Such a good. <laughs> so that's strong. A, I know. That's the thing about Greninja is that it, it feels like you're either, you either die at like seventy or you die at a hundred and hundred and thirty or forty. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Definitely do. It's, it's a scary fate with the frog. It's like I feel. It's like you feel like you're never safe because it's all the pressure the frog can put on. He's just so fast. Jesus Christ, was, where was the ending like on that up on that up air? Jesus Christ! Oh man, he actually got the. <gasps> that was the slickest. I think he he had purposefully gotten like that reduced hit of the uh, up air to throw him off. This should be big damage. Oh, interesting. I thought we were gonna see some really. Nasty combo, but I think he wanted to go for the mix-up. Uh, I mean, this is still a lot of damage on Noku. And he still needs to find a way to actually close things out right here. Charizard is a big body, meaning that he's even... Even if he manages... Even though he has all this kill power, he has to find a hit. Yes, he does. And I, sometimes finding a hit against the ninja can be kind of tough. But unless you really jump like that. Actually, I love that up air because that's one thing that Greninja loves to do is these empty full hops. Freeze's landing aerials are so good. He'll oftentimes jump into the air without throwing out any kind of hitbox. So, yeah, the, the up air from Charizard was the perfect answer. Absolutely and was. Yeah, you're getting off the Squirtle real soon here, bud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, the, he almost died from that yeah, forward put air. That, put, put that total away, man. <laughs> He's not living. <laughs> he doesn't have the meat on his bones. Yeah. He didn't eat grandma's. He didn't eat mom's spaghetti. Oh. No, obviously it did, but it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter that he had a little bit of extra weight. That's so strong. And now Noku fighting from behind. This is a certain situation we actually saw the j came back from in the game one. So definitely not outside of the realm of possibility, but he's going to have to play so perfectly because a single mistake against j leads to so much damage Absolutely. to the point where that comeback might just be insurmountable. It's like the ninja, like, we talk about how Falco puts you in the cutscenes. The ninja puts you into commercials because it's like they're not exceptionally long combos but you see them so frequently and you get hit by them a lot and they eat you a sizable amount of damage yeah. the thing is like i feel like they're 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 quick time events that lie to you you know <laughs> it's like you have to push the button but it doesn't matter that you do all that happens is that you don't die absolutely. it's like push the button to only take 50. absolutely how it is and Wonderful DI from j I'm surprised the Ninja is living in IVF Smash with some Rage on it. Oh, Greninja has more weight than you'd think. He's not a heavy character by any means, but I believe his weight is a little, he's kind of around the mid-weight range. Really? Uh, he, I think he's like low mid-weight, which for such a fast character is unusual. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh my god, he's dead! He exploded. He was at like 60 before the hit. Mm-hmm. Shadow Sneak is one extremely terrifyingly strong move.